Switch back to English. Um, this is the usual time of the day of the conference where we're doing some sharing, some personal sharing and some professional, professional sharing. So uh, this is what we call the alumni panel. And the, we find it over time being more and more interesting, um, you know, getting the lessons learned from the people actually went through that bridge. And some sometimes the scars that I have on their you know back uh, from that process of going through the bridge. So uh, we're going to invite here a few people coming from both the uh, business plan competition, also the startup school. So we're going to discuss with uh, Joe Bertolini, Plunge, Joe, 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 come on up, and Mari Palomba, next Tyler, Gianluca Ferranti, Vivocia and Raffaele Gaito, Mangatar. Okay, are we all mic'd up? Yes. No? Well, I guess that we might share. I don't know if my mic... No. We're going to share this. So again, this is, you know, supposed to be a conversation with you guys. So I'm going to ask them a few questions, but really uh, the main topic here, the main objective is to, especially for the startups, uh, they're still alive after this long day, to ask them questions of what they learn and what, what you should know before going. Um, so um, as, uh, as I normally do, uh, why don't we start with um, uh, your elevator pitch, so showing, you know, how cool you have become of doing elevator pitches. And it's going to be a short one, so you know that you have different mod models. So let's start with the 20 seconds elevator pitch. You can start there. Okay, I'm Raffaele Gaito, co-founder of Mangatar, and Mangatar is a social game, a card game in the Japanese universe of the manga. Good. Gianluca Ferranti, Vivocia. We help brands sell more online thanks to Vector's customer service. I like your voice. <laughs> Sorry. Vivoccia. Vivoce. I pitch too much. <laughs> yeah, too, too. You're pitching. <laughs> Stop with the investor now with customer. So. <laughs> See what happens when you've yeah. been pitching for six months in a row. Hi, I'm Mary Palumba, co-founder with Maurizio Palumba of Nextaler, an exclusive fashion brand created by emerging fashion designers and directly chosen by the customers and solely made in Italy. Ding! Got to the second floor. Hi, I'm Giorgio. I'm founder of Plunge. Plunge is a social network to meet new people while dining and drinking at cool events. Nice. And by yeah. the way, they were the sponsors of last night, so let's give yeah. them a round of applause for the speakers. We hosted a little thank you, thank cocktail, you. and so that's part of the giving back little message here in yeah. between the lines. Right. Yeah. Very right. good. Uh, lesson learned. So, in fact, let me start from you because you yeah. you you got back from. Uh, you are the only one of. Uh, well, you two it kind of in uh, to one. Uh, um, uh, you also went through the. Um, business plan competition, uh, but then you, you eventually uh, went through the three weeks of uh, at the startup school. So we're going to see you know, a little bit of uh, two different angles. Startup mm -hmm. schools, again, just for the ones of you uh, that don't know, is a short-term program. We do it six or seven times per year, three weeks in San Francisco, where actually people from different, very, very different backgrounds end up you know, sharing their experience. And some are startuppers a different stage of development. Yeah. Some are uh, consultants. We got a bunch of people from McKinsey of the world, BCG, people that, you know, uh, want to start living the experience of doing startup in Silicon Valley. They've heard of it. Uh, they, they read on a newspaper and they want to touch it firsthand. They don't have maybe a project, mm -hmm. an idea, but they want to live the experience there. And then the third, the third kind of a component of this interesting mix are um, um, researchers for the most part. So people that have been doing a lot of interesting, you know, research and IP, but they never developed any project out of it. So this kind of interesting mix eventually turned out to be uh, a good fusion uh, of opportunities and, and, and things happens kind of like the, with the startup weekend mix. And, and I think this being yours has been to some extent, this experience. So you, you added an idea very early stage and then yeah. tell us what happened. Yeah, I used to work in a textile industry and then I ended up doing a web startup. So <laughs> it's a big step. 
and it was a it was a really nice experience because uh, I was just two months into the startup and web uh, scene, and it was really really nice to like share ideas with people with uh, already successful uh, projects, and uh, this is not so common to do it here in Italy actually, and uh, so there were uh, really good managers talking to you, Marco showing us. Uh, the sushi Google <laughs> uh, yeah that was still at a time where I could get free food yes not, yeah, not anymore it was really nice and yes. um, yeah what, what can I say I mean it um, was, was a shock at the beginning because uh, you get into a completely different uh, environment there are so many events so many uh, uh, people enthusiastic about what they're doing and you can see this in their eyes and you're not the only one <laughs> that everyone thinks you are, you know, you have the flu. <laughs> no, I don't have the flu, I'm just really happy about what I'm doing. So, uh, well, definitely is an experience I recommend to everyone who is starting to build his own project, yeah. Right, we'll, we'll talk about the lesson learned uh, in, in a few seconds. L let me go to the opposite side here, um, uh, if you can talk, if you still have voice uh, left. That's right. Um, because you probably of the bunch, you're the one that spent the most time, um, three months. Um, had you been there for three weeks, you know, how different do you think that, uh, your experience could have been? First of all, actually we stay four months and not enough. So, uh, probably if we stayed more, things might have changed for Vivocha. Uh, I think uh, we we came for the start from out of the startup school the um, competition sorry we stayed the first month and we decided to stay in San Francisco especially because I heard people that sit here one year ago say stay as much as you can so we got the lesson and we decided to stay as much as we could for months and I would say if you can stay six stay six so uh, you need a, a little bit time to learn you need to get used to how things works and you need to build your network. I heard uh, the Tiscali uh, saying that uh, there is a community. Uh, I, I would say that uh, thanks to Man the Bridge, the first day we landed in, uh, in San Francisco, we were already working on net building network. That is the most valuable part, but it takes time. I mean, you have to arrange meetings. You have, for example, we were not there. You remember, you asked me what's your goal, and it was not to pitch to investor then happened that we met an advisor that helped us to meet investors. So, and uh, that's happened, uh, it's, it's, it's there. So if you go there with the plan, you can execute on that. So my idea is to, I give the same advice I got last year, prepare in advance, stay as much as you can, have clear goal, and be prepared to what is not planned because uh, also what's happened is that you have to change your plan uh, on the fly. Uh, uh, Mary, you yeah. participated to board events in San Francisco. In yeah. fact, it was in Berkeley this time yeah. around, uh, yeah. but also uh, in New York yeah. uh, with Fernando and what we organized together there. Yeah. What, what are your memories there? Uh, if you still remember something, it was kind of fuzzy. <laughs> um, but, you know, what, what's a, do, you, do you perceive any big difference in uh, presenting, you know, East Coast versus West Coast? Yes, I did. Because, as you know, we, we work in fashion, and so fashion on the Stop okay. Okay. and then uh, fashion in, in on the uh, east coast is of course uh, really um, there are people m more interested to, to fashion, so we uh, we found a different uh, interest uh, also for the investors and for the people we uh, we were talking to. Because, uh, as you know, they, in New York especially, they look at Italian fashion like uh, a wonderful thing. So it was different to us. San Francisco um, was useful to us for other reasons. Because there we, we learned uh, to act quickly and uh, we think and then immediately act now. Because it was a good lesson to us. And um, they are different because, uh, as I told you, in uh, San Francisco, uh, people is very open-minded. Uh, um, a really funny um, thing happened to us because we were going outside from our office, and there was a man uh, uh, just uh, behind us, and I, 
I get the door, the door for him and we were only passing through the door and he asked us, who are you, what are you doing? So you can meet people everywhere and they, they are all very uh, uh, ready to talk and to know you and to appreciate your work and that's interesting. That's the difference to us. What was that? I guess that was in San Francisco, not in New York. No, it's in, in, in San Francisco. San Francisco. Ah, San Francisco. Okay, no, get no, it, get it. It. Yeah, so that's actually a good point. So, you know, pick your market because not necessarily Silicon Valley is the solution for all the markets and all no. the problems. So yeah. I think that's why it's also interesting to get the best out of the ecosystem where yeah. you are up. So in fact, for fashion, that's a very good point that potential, also some of the media, yeah, the East Coast can be, as a market, a, yes. a better option. Yes, so it's a big difference to, to us, yes. Although the people in San Francisco are cooler, but that's a different <laughs> topic. <laughs> um, Raffaele, you were, as uh, the group here, you were probably the only startup that moved there in a bunch. You were, it was three or four of you all together? Three, three, three of us. So yeah. out of four, so you, know, you were the majority of the company moved yep. to San Francisco. Uh, for for a month, in fact, yeah, for a month. For a month. How was that different from uh, the other um, startups that actually were moving alone? Is that what? Tell me some pluses and pros and cons in moving the whole team there. Oh, uh, I think there are a lot of pros. Uh, I, it's a very good point. This one. Uh, I mean, when you stay in there in in San Francisco in, in the Valley, is very important to to share with your people what you are feeling in these days. I mean, so uh, your days are so full. S sometimes happens unbelievable things like the one Mary said. And uh, you can just talk on Skype with your uh, co-founder and try to, to explain that w what are you doing there. I mean, we, we did, and we did also when we came back uh, in Italy. But uh, the three of us that were there together, I mean, was something special to share the moment during the day and also talking about that during the night with with my co-founder with my friends that uh, I, I think this is a good advantage yeah I, if i have to say something to the new startups i say try to go with a, a couple of uh, your co-founder at least if you have a couple of co-founders yeah if you have <laughs> Well, you were discussing with your partner every day, loudly. Uh, uh, just discussing is just uh, you know, a nice way to put it, but uh, it was clear that things were happening there. Yeah. And we keep arguing uh, <laughs> also here in Italy. So. Um, I want to do this game. So um, again, you're, you were a very early stage. Now you're actually full-fledged startup. Uh, uh, pretty much all of you actually raised some money here. So that's all good news. But um, as, a, as a game, I want to share with the audience how different is your project from the day that you sent us whatever you had at the time. You know, it was the piece of paper that you had and uh, how different uh, it became the day that you presented to, you know, the Italian Innovation Day or whatever our investor day was called. There's one thing that if you can point out. Ah. I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask a question to all of you, by the way, so you can start preparing. In my case, it was a completely different project. I mean, Mind the Bridge was uh, a very important moment for us uh, in, in two different moments. I mean, the, the first time, one year ago, when we were here, but on the startup side, Mangatar was not a game, it was just a, I don't know, a nice website without any business model, without any possibility to grow it, to, to make money. But we just didn't know. Uh, and we, we got it here. Uh, thanks so, to so nothing major. Was just your product was a different thing. Yeah, it yeah, was it was a, a completely there. different thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And when we s decided to to pivot it, and we did two times, was two times because of mind the bridge. I mean, one uh, one year ago, and another one after the three weeks in San Francisco. So. Your turn. Yeah. Actually, we change a lot the way we pitch at an investor and in a successful way, I, I would say, since we successfully raised money, and, uh, and to the market, to the customer. So uh, we started for an approach that was extremely, how you say, redundant, a lot of 
words, numbers. Very the Italian. Smiling. Yeah, you know it. Actually, we change completely. If you want, you ask me. I have the presentation. Or do you have it? I don't know uh, if they put it on. But uh, the, we asked the, them the, last what, minute to show the one slide as so presented how here. how it was before the, the night of the venture camera, how it was later. Uh, so we changed completely. So we got the message to give one precise message to the investor or to the or to the market actually so a uh, few words a lot of image we are using so we do it completely different way and uh, that was mostly due to the mentor that uh, yeah teach us how to do that. Because in fact, your product was already kind of developed. You already had a proof of concept. Was, uh, it wasn't at you know, that early stage. It was more advanced. But it's true that the way to package yeah. is, being, is being central. Mary. OK. To us, the, the most important thing was that uh, one year ago, we couldn't put on the, the pictures of our dresses and our collections. And now you have it? Yes. Well, come on, yeah. show off, show off. No, oh, uh, it, it's been, I've, I've been asking for two years to see some of the production. Show, show sure. around. Nice. <laughs> Finally. Thank you. And so uh, now we are happy to, uh, to show our collections. That's uh, yes, a good to. goal for us. So that's uh, the most important thing. <laughs> Thank you. Joe. Uh, actually, it's more or less the same as you, Mary, as Marco last night was drunk, so finally Plunge <laughs> made a good job after one year. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, speaking of that, um, and before we open to the audience, I just want to ask you uh, the, your best day in San Francisco and your worst day in San Francisco. Uh, all of you. So I know that you, you as a, as a group, you have so many yeah, worst days, and you probably have 45 minutes yeah. to share. But uh, just pick the, the worst ones of the list of worst days. Yeah, the, the, the worst one uh, was when we discovered that Enrico was sick and he got a surgery. The second day we were in San Francisco, I mean, it was a, a difficult moment. Let, me, let me share the story. The, they're supposed to come on Monday. On Sunday night, I receive an email and say, I'm sorry, I, we have a little problem. We cannot come uh, to the incubator because one of our founders actually has been uh, um, um, uh, pushed to the ER because he's, has, he's having surgery. He has no insurance, no nothing. So if you can wait for us, hopefully we'll be fine in a couple of days. Yeah. And so that was the beginning of the three weeks and then try to understand the, the, the health system in the States. It was actually a pretty good lesson learned <laughs> at the end. So if there is a suggestion, probably get to the States with insurance. Yeah, yeah. Insurance. <laughs> the most important thing, absolutely. Okay, that, that was just one of your worst days. Yeah. What, what's, what was the best day? Uh, probably one of the best was when we went to the Silicon Valley and we, w we did the trip in the couple of big companies like Google, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and Microsoft, and touch with our hands the Silicon Valley reality was very important. Mm -hmm. I got we, you got lost on, on a car, but that was another part of the worst yeah, days. But <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see the out <laughs> full part of the glass. Your turn. Very, very hard. Actually, I had a lot of lovely days in San Francisco. I think that uh, I will start with the worst. That definitely is the day I left San Francisco. So uh, the best day was probably one of the, probably the second or the third time we met with the investor. When we realized that was true, I mean, we started pitching to investors, say, okay, but uh, we are a small Italian startup. Uh, we were pitching top tier investors, say, okay, probably it's just a courtesy they do with us. But when you go once and twice and then ask you to come for a second meeting and actually we landed twice in front of all the partner and you say, okay, probably have something concrete in my hands. So it's not a, just a game, do it and play uh, till the end. So we recognize when we were there that we have opportunity to become a global player. And actually this is the reason why I don't have voice because I put in all my energy in realizing that do it. Well, let me tell you that if you were to uh, pitch with this voice, I'm sure you would have gotten more money out of Silicon Valley. But that's a different story. <laughs> Mary, best day and worst day? Okay. The, the worst day was surely the fourth one because 
because of the jet lag because i remember that i was at an event and i wanted to be uh, strong and talk with people Energetic. but i was very i very remember bad. you fell asleep right <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and okay. then and then the, the best one uh, there are different moments when we talk with different people and did networking because uh, um, it was really interesting talking to other people and uh, um, find together the the best side and the worst side of Nestale, uh, especially the worst side. So we thought about them uh, also when we came back in Italy, and we we worked to to put them out and uh, work on on our startups better. That's all. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the best day was when I met Alessandro, my co-founder, and uh, there in San Francisco, and actually it was also the worst day. <laughs> 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 so it's uh, now um, to be serious. The then the best, of course, when we met and we joined and we decided to go on and carry on together. And the worst one is uh, when we had to leave, not to be like uh, saying always the same stuff, but was stuff period because I was having fun there. <laughs> yeah. But took a decision, so yeah, there are, there are planes that you can take uh, pretty much every day. Um, all right, so let's open to the audience a little bit, and then if we have still more time, I'm gonna ask them a little more questions. So I would like actually to get questions, especially from the startups that presented um, today and potentially tomorrow. So please show up. Go. Do, do have <coughs> Katrina. Uh -huh. Katrina from Colto. I really wanted to ask um, Vivocia, Gianluca. I really want to ask, you spent three months in San Francisco. How did you, how did you manage it from a personal point of view that you found out in November and then you left in January to go away for three months? Okay, first of all, my family actually I'm married with two kids and they moved in San Francisco for more than half of the time. So I spent the first month alone, and then my family joined. So it was also, from a personal point of view, a, a good experience. It was uh, San Francisco is an incredible city. You you go there, and in a few days, you can leave the city. Uh, and so this is from the personal point of view. Uh, he say it's good to be most of the team. I will recommend. Most of the problem we have at a business level was being the two co-founders in, in the US and the rest of the development team here in Italy. We were too young and not prepared to work with nine hour time shift. And so if I have to, to give a suggestion, be prepared or if you are small, move the, the whole team. It costs, I mean, San Francisco is not a cheap city, but especially if you can adapt, you can find solution. So maybe share the bed, share the, the coach, but Move the team if you can. I, uh, just one other quick question. You you had a personal mentor. You said how often were you meeting with your personal mentor in San Francisco? Uh, actually, we work uh, with uh, one of the Mind Bridge mentor, and actually we were sitting in the same desk. So I would say on a daily basis. Uh, but uh, we got a lot of mentorship somehow because if you are open you get lesson every day, wherever you go. Uh, a funny story, in one of the first nights I was there alone, I went out one of these number of meetup, you, you can have uh, as many as you want. And I was incredibly surprised because you went in, 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 a, in a pub, for example, and you are alone, and you look for friendly faces. And when you uh, find somebody in front of you, they say hello, introduce themselves you don't know them. It's like uh, Mary was saying, it's so incredibly easy to meet people and uh, start talking. For example, our p first pitch to VC happened because I pitched for it without knowing to a VC in one of these meetup. After 10 minutes, he, he gave me his business card and said, tomorrow come to our headquarter to pitch in a more formal way. So uh, it, it, it's happened. I mean, it's not a story. It's like this. If you go there, you can experience. Thank you. I want to see more hands up right there. Hi, I'm Paolo from Monkey Parking. 
uh, regarding the fact of being in Silicon Valley as much as possible, w which is, if there is one, the best way to manage visa restriction about there? I don't know. Is there any option that uh, we have in order to get there multiple times or longer time? I, I can share my experience. We were there with the B1 visa, so we got six month stay. Uh, actually, we got less on at the mind bridge uh, how to get visa. So, but I'm not an expert. I, I just have some some uh, idea. Uh, when I say stay as much as you can, probably you can also stay there ni 90 days with the with the tourist visa and then go back and then plan to go again. I'm not saying that you have to stay there one year or in a row, but the idea is that uh, stay as much as you can related to your project. I mean, what's your objective? So if you want to be part of the ecosystem, probably you, w you will need more than one month because otherwise you end up that when things start being concrete, you have to leave. That actually is what happened to us, but actually, now we are planning to, to move and, and come back. I just want to add something. No. I, this is just opening actually a can of worms that is the whole issue of, uh, of the visas that we should actually organize a one single day just dedicated to that. Um, this is uh, an issue that is way underestimated and in fact is, the, is like a level, an order of magnitude bigger issue than, than your funding is actually to get there with the right papers is most of the time is uh, something that you give for granted uh, but it's not and uh, so the, the whole idea of a startup visa that has been discussed for years now in silicon valley because of the the opposite you know brain drain so a lot of people are leaving silicon valley because you cannot find the right papers to stay there uh this is this uh, has um, a lot of um, economical um then eventually consequences, negative consequences. Most of the startups, by the way, have been created by um, immigrants that are not US, US born. So uh, that's a totally different topic, that I, but uh, I'm actually uh, convinced that we should dedicate a full day just talking about this with whomever can you know, help this transition, being the consulates or being um, in, in both ways of, uh, uh, of, of both sides of the Atlantic. Um, let's get one more question. No? You've been shy? I don't see a lot of uh, the startups there. Where? Yeah, right there. Um, <coughs> hello, uh, my name is Sergio. Uh, reading um, news from US, like the crunch and so on, you can feel uh, that uh, the environment is different, of course. So maybe you can tell us something that you have felt when uh, when you were there about this. In, uh, I'm talking about uh, that um, you feel that you can do things there in US. Um, I can I can make a, a very um, a very short example. I've seen uh, I have read something about um, a company that uh, wash cars. Um, in the parking spot uh, close to the um, to your office when you when you send an sms asking to to wash your car so in italy there is a law that uh, say that is not possible to wash a car in in a public uh, in a public road so for example so i'm oh talking really? about this you can do you can do things there uh, that you can't do here for many reasons so maybe you can you can tell us something about this uh, feeling that you that you right, okay, clear. Something so about that. I think that, that raises a good point. And if I can rephrase one side of the of the question is, you know, how did you live the positive sense of uh, that you you get from the environment itself, and how would that impacted your decisions of uh, doing or or changing uh, the project that that you had you had on hand? Wants to comment here. Yeah, fr from my point of view, uh, there are. Mm, I mean. Probably the most important thing that I felt about the, the uh, was about the f feedback. How people give feedback to you is completely different from how people give feedback to you in, in Italy. And this was a good point for me. Uh, 
probably is more like strong, direct, and you start to appreciate when they can uh, talk about your negative parts of your project. I mean, uh, I, I did a lot of events in Italy and people is saying always, oh, good project, oh, it's cool, Mangator, but it's not really helping me. And when I was here for three weeks, th there were people talking uh, about was what was not working on Mangator. And I mean, also in a very s strong strong way, if you are open mind and ready to this, this is one of the most important thing of the environment that you can feel and you can really appreciate after a while. Yeah, we're kind of opinionated in Silicon Valley. What else? Who, who has something to add? Come on, I think there's a lot uh, to say here. Well, uh, a concrete thing is the feeling to uh, uh, zero taxes in Delaware <laughs> to do an incorporation there. That's a good feeling <laughs> for a web project when you start to be really honest and direct. And then, uh, of course, the environment of, of being surrounded by um, uh, energetic uh, energetic people working in the same in same area, that gives you a lot of feedbacks and uh, really want to support you. Because it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's not a big area. So if everyone helps each other, you know, you can fail, but then you have a friend who's going to be successful. You can have a good manager position <laughs> and then save some money and then rebuild another company uh, later. It's just the way people uh, people just smarter in this, uh, this aspect. Uh, in Italy, it's more like I'm the only one and so on. That's kind of true. And in fact, he has, uh, you know, some economical uh, results, as, as you said, you know, the fact of being open minded. I mean, it's, yes, it's an attitude, but also is the one way to get the best deals, to get the best uh, innovations, to get the information flow as fast as possible. You know, if you're being secretive, you're missing out, especially where the information is real core of the business. And that's what Silicon Valley is all about. Anything more? No? You finish your, you're done with your voice? Oh, I, uh, I can add about that. Uh, feedback is not only giving you some words, but his real advice, his introduction. What happened to us, we, some, uh, in, uh, some uh, VC gave us customers. Say, okay, go talk to this company, I introduce you, and we got a customer, we got a partner. So it's very concrete. Typically in Italy, you, s you talk about this feedback, this help, but in the end, you get nothing. You go there and you get an intro and you meet with uh, mm -hmm. people that uh, you th might think to be impossible to meet with in a in few hours. Uh, so it's something that uh, happens, it's really fast, it's really concrete. So just to be, that's the kind of help you get. You can feel like everybody's working for something bigger. They give you feedbacks also when you don't ask for feedback. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up enough, okay, I got it. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit like this. So you need to filter. Um, I'm gonna say that you know, this is kind of culture. It's very hard to move out of the country of it, the ecosystem where you are based. But that's the kind of thing we're trying to instill in a small little scale. But eventually, I think is proving some good results. You now, you know, creating a community where actually the terms of the community are similar. So, being as a you know, take responsibility. Also, you you know, you have gone through a s few cycles. You grew. You know, you're different from the way that you were two years ago last year. So, I mean, it's your turn, your responsibility, you know, to, to help develop that, that kind of community that eventually would give back to you to, with the, you know, with the same uh, mechanics that we've been discussing. So, you know, that's part of our, part of our mission and, and we're going to keep doing this, trying to instill a new approach to doing business where, in fact, there is no, you know, direct results right there but eventually helps on the long term okay so anyway we're trying to finish up here uh, the last word i want to go a quick round um you know the last word of one word of wisdom for the people uh, that will get on a plane uh january 6th okay you're not prepared go, go on this side uh, one word of wisdom uh uh, determination. Determination. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely one, one, one word. word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I mean, you can explain ah, okay. more if you want, but I mean, uh, that's fine. I, I follow the rules uh, <laughs> in this panel. I'm a guest. So, uh, another 
four words. No, uh, no, determination. You want to express it? Just uh, that. It's like uh, be. Um, you you have to say no many times to many things. So uh, maybe you wanna go out. No, you stay and you work hard. You wanna travel. No, you wanna have a car. No, you sell your car. As I, you know, I sold my car. And so I have to take the Italian trains. It's not, it's not easy, <laughs> but um, to sacrifice, you know, in some aspects. And that's determination. Well, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> Good, Mary. How can you keep uh, up with this? Yeah, uh, be open-minded and don't get mad if someone criticizes, but thanks the people that criticize you. Very good. Don't get mad for critics. Uh, think, think big. Actually, there are opportunities. Uh, I remember when one investor told us, don't ask us for money, just pitch us for a big market, big oh. opportunity. We have the job to find the market, the, the money to finance you. So uh, if you have a big market, many times I heard People ask me because now we seem the star. I mean, uh, it's something that embarrasses me quite a lot because uh, we have a lot of things to do. But uh, uh, most of the time, you see, uh, there is a billion dollar market. I have a, a business plan for a two million company. I mean, think big because the opportunity is there to be financed to get the market. So you're saying that, you know, put in a slide where you say, I want two million or whatever is bullshit. You just should keep it blank and say, you know, you're an investor. I give you, I tell you what the market is and yeah. you tell and me how much. This is what money. happened to us. I mean, uh, in the last pitches we, we gave to, uh, to VC in the Valley, we, we canceled the last slide on wh how much we were asking. So we were just pitching the opportunity, the market dimension and what we were on the track to do. And, uh, so show that there is a big enough market and you want to be a big player in that market. I'll tell you a little secret there that I never told you, but that financial negotiation was done by your mentor on a background. So uh, uh, still, still good. Be ready. If you can make a list of people you would like to meet, uh, events you would like to go, uh, this is not a vacation. So, uh, it's not a vacation. Yeah. Take, take that. Be ready. So be ready and, and come, pre come prepared. Yeah. And get insurance. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. And with insurance, I think we're done. Uh, so thank you, guys. It's good to see you. And with that, I think we're done for the day. But I think the probably the best part, at least the party time, uh, still has to come. So you have uh, an hour to take your tie off, uh, change your shoes, and come prepared, especially for the startups. Come prepared because the, the yen there uh, won't be easy to manage. So, uh, you know, don't take it personal and come, uh, f you know, with some flexibility. All right. We see you at 8 o'clock at the Now Hotel. Thank you. <laughs>